Good evening, good evening one and all. Welcome to the January 24th edition of the most highly rated, the most highly anticipated, the most late, the most CPT, the most show that you would ever, ever want in a podcast that never, ever shows up on time. Welcome to the Henry O Podcast Experience. That is an acronym for hope, and hope is what we have here in this show. I am your host with the most, the host that does it all, the host that still cannot find his bloody voice. I am Henry the Fox. Now, before once again, we'd like to get started with the show. I would like to send a special thank you to podbean.com. Podbean.com for all your podcasting needs. You can find me under Walker AC76. They'll bring you back to the shows to the very beginning of February last year. Also, you can find me on YouTube under Walker AC. That's where you see the origins of the Henry the Fox show. And that's where it all started, folks. That's where it all began. And once again, please stay tuned for always. It's going to return. You know it's going to return. The Slacking Majestically show with Ashley and Adrian Majestic. And as always, like I said before, I want to send a special shout out. Do the kids still say shout out these days? Anyhow. I'd like to spend a special shout out to Ashley Majestic, and uh, she's under uh, Majestic Nerd Lady under Instagram. Our thoughts and prayers that go out to her and her family. She will be making a return soon. Stay tuned for Ashley. You know you can't keep her down. You can't shut her up. You cannot keep her from saying controversial things. She will be back soon. Stick with us, folks. When she comes back, it's going to be a tornado. Now, the topic for today is I sent out a small video on my uh, Facebook page. Maybe I'll give that out one day, but to those of you who know me, you know my uh, Facebook page. I celebrated, no, not I, we celebrated a milestone here at the Henry O Podcast Experience. We celebrated over a thousand downloads. Now, to some of you out there who've had podcasting shows, who are podcasting masters, or peg editing podcasts left and right, who do shows whenever they darn well feel like it, to me, this is a milestone for me, especially that this show started by accident. Uh, this show started just on a whim. It started from the feeble parts of my mind that brought out my depression, and I needed an outlet, and a simple microphone and a computer gave me over 1,016 downloads. And thanks to you from only 57 episodes from the start of February of last year. To me, this is a milestone. To me, this is something tremendous. To me, this is something that lets me know that this little engine that could, this little podcast that could, made a difference in someone's life, made someone want to listen to this dribble of a voice, this show that's unedited, this show that has zero, zero technology to it, other than just a microphone and a guy who stammers and stutters and has zero game plan for a show. I thank all of you for making the Unreal Podcast experience as well as Slacking Majestically show a hit. I send out my sincere gratitude and thank you. And now also, it's going to be kind of weird, I'm holding a contest. Because right now, once again, we're at 1,016 downloads. And I want to keep moving up. So my challenge to you out there, my listeners, my snowflakes, my super fans, I send a challenge to you. If we can hit 1,100 downloads, let's say in two weeks. Say if we can do that in two weeks. So we're going to go, today's the 24th, uh, let's go for February 7th. If we can hit 1,100 downloads, I myself will make a video of my homely face. Not the animated Fox of Henry. It's going to be me, the creator, the, uh, the, the wizard behind the curtain. I'll make a video of myself sending out a special thank you to all of you. Now, for those who you just listen to the podcast, I'll put it on my YouTube channel also. I know it's been a while since so I posted videos, but once again, YouTube is the origins of the show itself. But I will post a special thank you video of myself, my face, my horrid face that should be under a bridge scaring children. That's my way of saying thank you. The challenge is out there, folks. It's up to you. I know you guys can make it happen. Also coming soon, we're going to open up a Patreon. Now, I know I may have mentioned of it before, but it's slowly coming to fruition. Now, what a Patreon is, for those of you who don't know, it is going to be a pay site. All that is is just a little extra money to help make changes to the show, to help the show evolve like always. You know, maybe 
Maybe new settings, maybe new microphones, maybe something to get this show off the road, maybe to get the show a little bit bigger. With your help and donations, you know, the Henry O Podcast experience, maybe reach a broader audience. Now, with that comes the benefits of that, because trust me, you know, times are tough and money is very important, you know, to keep the flow of life going for, you know, for families with children and everything of the sort like that. So I won't take advantage of that. The Patreon account itself, what well, that'll do, they'll give you special secret shows. They'll give you special shout outs to those of you who donate. I will personally say thank you, say your name if you want, or your backer name or whatever you want. Once again, this is not my show. This is your show. Once again, more details to come, and we'll get back to that. And I'm noticing as I do more and more of the Henry O Podcast experience, my voice changes, it goes a bit faster, it goes into that, that DJ stage, and I really need to get away from that. I really need to go back and slow down and find my voice, and once again, find who I really am with this show. I'm always open to new suggestions. I'm always open to anything you want to tell me. So you can always leave a comment on the site itself. Or you can write me at slackingmajestically01, that's slackingmajestically01 at yahoo.com. I read all your emails, I'll respond to all your emails, and heck, if it's something good, I will gladly make a change to the show, because this is your show. Not mine, I am just a schmuck behind the microphone. I always step out of my comfort zone to make things better, I always step out of my comfort zone to make things more interesting. Because being a show, we cannot be one-dimensional. We, we have to grow. We have to evolve. Just like you and me out there. We are not the same people as we were yesterday, a week ago, a year ago, a month ago, not even a couple minutes ago. We are ever-changing. So never have anyone tell you that you're the same person I knew back then. No, because we all change. We all evolve. I know it's a really cheesy cliche to do, but we're always changing. You mean you were out there are always changing. Step outside of your comfort zone. Try something new. You know, it's best to always try new experiences because like I've always preached since the very first episode, life is what you make it. Life can end at the drop of a hat, not to sound all doom and gloom, but life is what you make it. You have to take a chance. You have to take a risk. You know, either you stay where you're at or you branch out. Fear can make you do one of two things. Fear will make you stay inside your comfort zone, or that fear will push you to do some things you never thought you could do. And I, Henry the Fox, myself, I support anything you want to do to branch out to make yourself better, because that's what we are. We are a generation that needs to make things better, whether it be ourselves, whether it be our children, whether it be our pets, whether it be our work environment, we always strive to make things better. Now, just color me with rose-colored glasses, I don't see anger. I don't see misery anymore. I try not to see the miserable things in life. Because you know how this podcast works. I sit here on my throne, on my soapbox, and I preach the good word of positivity. Because, in my opinion, that's just the way life should be. Life should be you wake up every morning and you have a goal. You go to bed, you've accomplished that goal. You feel good about yourself, you feel good about what you've done, and that good health keeps you going. Hmm, excuse me. See, no editing. I would have edited out that little burp I did, but no. See, this is a live show. This is like me talking to you right to your face, minus the bad breath, of course. Anyhow, back to the positivity speech, the sermon. I like to be happy. And you guys know how this works. I love being happy. I love to share my positive experiences with you. Now, yes, I do acknowledge the fact you know, that I have been diagnosed depressed. I acknowledge that fact and I embrace that fact because once again, this is who I am. It is my struggle to overcome and yes, I will overcome it because the way I choose to live my lifestyle, the way I choose to have people around me that are good influences, that are good people around because being around misery, it rubs off on you and it has a negative effect on your health, on your mindset and how you view the world. That's just my opinion and my opinion for me has worked. I've been, around, I've been around negativity, and it has affected me. It has affected my lifestyle. It has affected the people around me. And I could do one of two things. I can try to help the situation. I could try to help this, the person evolve and try to show them a different path. Or I can bid them adieu and have them go about their merry way and let them live their life, and all I can do is just wish them the best. I wish everyone the best. And I step out of my comfort zone. 
a little bit of story about me here, a little bit of story time. Pull up next to the fire because Daddy uh, Fox has a little, little story for you. I recently evolved my work, transferred to a new work area. And of course, with the new work area comes new challenges and me, a little new anxiety, but I feel that I can make it work. Why do I feel that way? Because I know I can make that work. There is no, I can't. There is no, what if something happens? There is only, I can. I will make it work. It's going to work. And I'm going to evolve into something bigger and better. I don't look at the what ifs. I don't look if, I don't look at this as a, if this fails, because it is not an option. I look at the bright side of everything. I take care of me. I take care of my loved ones. And I want the best for everyone. So stepping outside my comfort zone, this is a new challenge for me. And a lot of changes are going to happen. I take that back. A lot of changes are happening. Because I'm comfortable with my show. I'm comfortable with my animation that entertains all of you. I'm comfortable with the gracious feedback that I have received from this show. I'm gracious for the people that are in, that visited my work, that know the work person of me and that have embraced me as their own. Because who knew? Who knew that me going out and venturing out to another work site has affected the people that I've seen on a daily basis that really genuinely care about me, genuinely love me, and genuinely wish me the best of luck and are going to miss me while I try a new endeavor. And for those of you out there that know who I am, I appreciate you and I thank you for that. I may be gone, but you guys are not forgotten. And I know I'll see you again. And with that, as far as once again, stepping out of your comfort zone, trying new things, new adventures, I believe that 2019 is gonna be full of adventures and full of new things. And hey, if I go back to the old stuff, I'm gonna reinvent it. I'm gonna make it better. Because as the old saying, it's better to be what the devil you know versus the devil you don't know. And I agree 50-50 on that. Because being with the devil you know may keep you in your comfort zone, but it may give you opportunity to evolve that and turning it to something better. Whereas on the other end of the spectrum, you have the new adventures, the new unknown, the new things you can try to help create a better you, to help create a better environment, to help to create a better setting in your world, to make things more comfortable for you. Because there's nothing more pleasant than laying your head down on your pillow knowing you did something well, knowing that you're going to bed happy, knowing that you're going to bed comfortable, and you're going to wake up to a new day. Because don't get me wrong, my little snowflakes, I have been on the other end of the spectrum where I've been a miserable mess and I had nothing to look forward to, but that was all in my head. There are always things to look forward to. No matter how bad it gets, you are going to wake up the next day. You are going to continue. You are going to carry on no matter what life throws at you. It's just another challenge for you to overcome. Why wallow in the self-pity of a job? Why wallow in the self-pity of a relationship? Why wallow in the self-pity of a friendship? Why wallow in the self-pity of who you are? You are your own person. You have the ability to change yourself, your settings, your work. And hey, I am not going to fool myself. I understand that these things take time. Either you have enough strength in yourself to do it, or you have a strong support system that leads you along the way to help you and to guide you. There's nothing wrong with leaning on someone for assistance. If I can do it, and I have, I've helped myself, I've helped others, people have helped me. And I don't forget about that. I don't forget about the ones that have helped me. I don't forget about the ones that I've helped. I'm appreciative of what everything and everyone has done for me, and hopefully, they feel the same way. If not, once again, best wishes to them. I bid them adieu, and I hope life treats them well. I'm not a one for holding grudges. I'm not a one for holding angst or anger or bad will, because life is too short for that. I'm an old fox, so I definitely need to uh, keep up with my P's and Q's and actually look out for what's important, the most things that matters to me. And everyone knows what matters to me in my world. My family, my little one, and my close-knit group of loved ones. You know who you are. If you don't know who you are, you can ask me and I'll tell you. Trust me, I have no reason to lie.
I know. But to recap with this, folks, this is a new show for the year 2019, January 24th. We are, what, three shows in now of the new year. And it's been great. And once again, I have a little couple of projects coming up. Now be sure you pay attention because a new Patreon account is coming for those paid subscribers. Once again, you're gonna have secret shows. You're gonna have special shout outs. Your name will be in the credits of this show. I will mention you, I'll interview you, I'll talk to you, I'll respond to anything you have to me. Because I need you to help me grow. And with growth comes progress. With progress comes brand new opportunities for all of us. The Henry O Podcast experience is an experience I want to share with all of you. And thank you for your feedback with that. And once again, be sure to like, comment, follow, write, do whatever you need to do to reach out to this show to keep it going. Because without you, there is no me. And when life gives you lemons, I'm kind of borderline diabetic here, so I'm teetering on the sweet and low thing. So I'm going to try to focus on more water and less, you know, lemons and lemonade. Anyhow, when life gives you lemons, ask them sweet and low. And when in doubt, folks, always, always, always pet a fox.